Hey, and um, let's do a quick video how to solder a 65030 uh, QFPD on a Realme 3000. It's a 100 pin. So, yeah. Uh, first, I take one corner just with some solder here with my favorite knife like Q. K tip or what's called? It's a knife blade. Put solder on one pad. Put in the IC and try to line it in all corners. Just tack it in there. You don't have to solder it properly. Just so it stays here. And then you go to the exact opposite corner of the CPU. I don't have to find it in the microscope here. Make sure it's also aligned perfectly. And put it there. And as this CPU is shipped, you want to make sure that every pin is as aligned as they can be and I actually usually also tick on each corner of the CPU slightly so it stays there And here you might see that pin is somewhat misaligned. Try to poke it so it's kind of aligned. This is so much easier with, with the microscope than without. I would not even recommend to do this without microscope. Here you can see that the pin is slightly bent. But, uh, yeah. So, okay. So, what I do now is on one corner that I haven't tucked in, I put some flux, decent amount of flux. And then clean my tip as good as I can. Put here and just right and make sure that you hit both pads and pins. And you can see that it maybe tap on the pins and drag it like this you can see how the solder flows like that okay now that's Done. Now you take the opposite one, you flip, turn the board <coughs> and find the CPU again. Here it is. So this is on the opposite side of your solder and flux again. Flux is good. It does. And then some solder and put it here. You can see that if you heat up several pins, the tension will get flow.
physics does the soldering for you and you don't need especially much solder for this one as well maybe it's somewhat more composite so and if you get too much you wicked door and then you turn out the corner flux always flux You can see if I, I had the I had a bridge here and like that. Just tap it on here and if it, if it doesn't go away, just move around a little bit and you can see that it will be okay. We will clean up and we will get the final result later. And okay. let me see. The physics does the work for you. Yes, it's a liquid. Not that. It's done. Pour some isopropyl on it, and I use a toothbrush. This doesn't really clean the board. Remember that you're actually just smearing around it on the board. So if you want to do real cleaning, you need to do ultrasonic and or uh, something that sucks it up. But now when I've done this, I go uh, zoom in further. See how much I can zoom without it getting dark on camera. And blackboard was not the optimal board for this type of recording. But anyway, uh, you can't really see the pads due to the light. They are maybe somewhat misaligned, but uh, I can feel with my tweezers here that, uh, yep, yeah, no problem. And what I usually do is I take my tweezers and drag them around the pins like this. And you will feel if one pin is not aligned. Here, I'm not sure if it's okay. It is. This is one of the bent pins. Can do this without tipping my microscope over. Like that. I see a much bigger part of the CPU in my view here, so uh, I need to check the camera as well like that I flip the board because you can see it's much better I have like that and drag like this and check if something moves 
you will also hear a distinct clinging sound if it's not attached. And I can say that without a microscope this job be much harder. Anyway, uh, that's uh, O30 installed on the board. Didn't take many minutes. Um, that is how you do it.